Hi friends, welcome back to Table Full of Joy. I'm Cheryl and today we are back in the kitchen for day two of our holiday baking. Today we are gonna make a favorite of ours that we just found. It's an old recipe, but I had never made it before until a couple of years ago. But it goes by a couple different names. It has oven just heated. <laughs> it goes by Christmas crack. It goes by um, saltine toffee. It goes by cracker candy. Um, it has all kinds of different names. So whatever you wanna call it. But it's gonna, it only has five ingredients, which I love. They are complicated steps, but it does take a little while, so you have to have some patience. So we're gonna start off first. We're gonna cover our sheet pan with aluminum foil. You wanna make sure that your foil is gonna go up over the edges, because otherwise this candy will stick to the pan and you will have a mess. And that is something you don't want. So we're gonna get our foil in here. Make sure we get it centered. Make sure it is tucked in nice and tight so we have good edges. Hold our foil down. And like I said, you wanna make sure that you have your foil up on your lip like this so that when we pour the scalding hot sugar, on top of these crackers that it's not going to leak down on top of your pan because if you get sugar in between your foil and your pan you're never getting it off so we have our foil down ready to go we're going to put down 40 saltine crackers and you want to make sure that your crackers are going down in a even layer that you there isn't any um overlapping Make sure that your crackers are full size crackers. They're not bits and pieces. Because if you have crackers that are pieces, then you're gonna have toffee that's gonna drip down and it's just gonna make a mess. So you wanna make sure that you have all of your crackers in a single layer. So if we end up with a broken cracker, we'll just set it aside and we won't use that one. This just makes a really pretty um, edible gift in your gift boxes. I'll show you my boxes that I found. Um, I think I got these at Fred Meyer last year. And as I said before, I got sick last year and was not able to do a whole lot of baking. So I still have a lot of stuff from last year to use up. This is a super easy, this is another one kind of like the barks that I did. We did uh, Samoa truffles yesterday. We did um, peppermint bark and we did um, a pistachio cranberry bark. And I will link all of those videos up here for you. All of the Christmas stuff that we've done over this week is gonna be all linked together for you so you'll have all of those recipes if you want to make any of the stuff that we have that we've made all through this week. So we're going to put just a couple more crackers on here and it looks like we have everything on here. We just need two more. Sometimes it's a good idea to make a double batch of this because it it is so tasty that you'll go through it super quick. All right, so we have our crackers down, single layer in our pan. Now we're going to move on to our brown sugar. We need one. So we have our one cup of brown sugar. We're going to put this in our measuring cup. We want one, one cup packed brown sugar. I'm using an organic brown sugar this time. I'm not used to using it. It tends to be a little bit, a little bit drier than the other brown sugar. Not sure how I feel about it, but it's what we have, so we're gonna use it. I am gonna try this next this next year, I'm gonna try making my own brown sugar. I've seen a couple different uh, YouTubers that have made their own brown sugar. It's a super easy process. It really is just molasses and white sugar. So I think we may try making that together this next year as one of our projects. Okay, so we have our one cup of brown sugar. We're going to do our one cup of butter, which is two sticks. 
and we are going to melt these together. And as soon as it comes to a boil, it needs to boil for exactly three minutes. So you wanna time this so that you make sure that you don't go over because if you go over the three minutes, <clears throat> you're gonna wind up with a much harder um, toffee than you need. And it's just not gonna work real well on the crackers. So we're gonna turn this on medium. We're gonna get a spoon and we're gonna start melting our butter and our brown sugar together. Our butter and sugar is melting nicely. It is close to coming to a boil, so I have my timer ready to go. So as soon as it starts to boil, all I need to do is hit start and it'll be ready to time this for three minutes. Another warning, this is very, very hot sugar. You get hot sugar on your skin and it won't come off and it will burn you really, really bad. So be very, very careful when you are messing with hot sugar. Make sure that you don't have small kids around. Make sure that your handles are turned in away from the front of the stove so that kids can't pull it down if you're not standing right here next to it. Because I have seen some pretty bad sugar burns and they are not fun. So just a little word of caution to make sure that you're being super safe when you're making things with hot sugar. You can see the little bubbles right around the edges of the pan. When it comes to a full boil, it'll have bubbles all over in the pan, not just around the edges. My husband helped me pour this because I do not want to burn myself as I'm trying to pour this and spread this on the pan of crackers. This is the part where you really have to watch it because you want to make sure that it's not, sugar can boil over too. So you want to make sure that you're watching it so that it's not boiling over. This, okay, I think we are there. So we're going to do our timer. We have it set for three minutes. We're going to let this boil for three minutes. Then we need to put in just a little bit of vanilla just before we dump it. This is super, I found a really fun nut topping this year to use for this Christmas crack. Normally we do chop pecans, chop walnuts, chop almonds, chop something. This is a mix. So I was super excited when I found that. So you'll get the best of both worlds of all these different nuts. I don't know exactly what nuts. I looked at it once and I'm trying to remember which nuts are in it. It has almonds, cashews, walnuts. So it has a good mix. Oh, it has filberts too. Oh, and macadamias. So this has a, this has Brunel, Brazil nuts. So this has a really good mix of nuts. So that's gonna be super good on our Christmas crack. I may end up making a second batch of this. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to look at my ingredients once we get this batch done and see because I still have several things that I need to get done um, to go in our goodie boxes. This is looking beautiful though. So we're right at a minute 10 seconds left. So we're going to get our vanilla ready. We just have some regular Costco vanilla so as soon as this is done we'll turn our heat off. We'll add just a little bit of vanilla to this and then this is going to get poured on those crackers. This is going to go in the oven for five to seven minutes at 350 degrees. And then as soon as it comes out, you wanna let it sit for just a minute, maybe two. And then we're gonna put chocolate chips on it and we're gonna let those melt. We're gonna spread them, get our nuts on it. And then it's just gonna hang out for the rest of the day until it's set up all the way. And then we'll be ready to break it into pieces. And it'll be ready to go in our goodie boxes. We're at right about 30 seconds left. This is thickened up. This is really, really beautiful toffee. We are at 15 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and kill my heat for that last 15 seconds. We're gonna stir this. Adding vanilla sometimes to hot sugar like this can make it react. So you wanna stand back when you put your, put your vanilla in it. Keep stirring, but stand away from the because you can see it just made it go violent on me. <laughs> so you wanna make sure, like I said, cooking with hot sugar is super, super dangerous. But this is what our toffee looks like. 
we're ready to start pouring this on our crackers. Okay, we're ready to pour this in. I'm gonna have Tony pour this for me. Just pour it directly on the crackers for me and I'll spread it while you're pouring it. Okay. Just get it evenly all over. Okay. It's good to have a second person here when you're dealing with hot sugar like this, just to make sure that if something were to splash on me, that I have another person here with me to get cold water, get something on that burn. Like this. all the way to the edges, make sure it's completely covered. Just like that. All right, this is gonna go in our 350 degree oven for five to seven minutes. has been in the oven for about five and a half, six minutes. This right here is exactly what we want. It's bubbling. It's very, very loose. So let's take our spatula and let's just kind of rearrange our crackers just a hair because when they start to bubble, they start to kind of move around a little bit. We want to make sure we have a good, smooth, single layer of all of our crackers with our toffee. One thing that I forgot to mention to you guys before this went in the oven, make sure that you spray your foil because it is going to stick really, really, really bad if you don't spray your foil. You need to have something to help it release. All right, so we've got these position. So we've got two cups of chocolate chips and we want to sprinkle these all over. We're going to smear these as soon as they start to melt a little bit. But we're going to spread these out nice and even. I wish you could smell this caramel. It smells so good. You get that salt from the crackers, the sweet from the toffee. And then you'll have some more salt coming into this with our nuts that we're going to put on it. But you want a good you want a good layer of chocolate on this, just so we have a good good coverage. I can already see these are starting to melt because our toffee is super super hot. Again, like I said before, this is scalding hot sugar, so be very very careful handling this. Make sure that you're not burning yourself with it. So we're gonna take our spatula, we're just gonna kind of start mashing these into the crackers as they're starting to soften up and melt a little bit. So we get our chocolate layer. You can stick it back in the oven if you want to. I still have my oven on, but this looks like these are gonna melt just fine because they are this toffee is super, super hot, so I don't think we need to go back in the oven with it. So we're just gonna use our spatula. We're just gonna mash these around in here until we get a good, even layer of chocolate all over our crackers. You want them all the way covered so that in every single bite, you get some chocolate, some toffee, some cracker, and some nuts when we get those put on there because that is what this is all about, is a balance of all your flavors together, making sure that you have a good balance of all of your sweet, all of your salty. 
and the toffee is going to firm up as it starts to cool and dry, which means it's going to give you that nice crunch. So you're going to get a crunch from the cracker, but you're also going to get a crunch from the toffee. You can see how easy these are melting on here. We're just barely applying any pressure. I'm gonna be really careful too because these are still pretty liquid, the toffee is, and the crackers are gonna move if you're not careful when you're smearing the chocolate on. So just make sure that you're getting, you're being really careful as you're smearing these, that you're not moving your crackers. Because again, we don't want this to stick this is looking and smelling super super good I think we've got all of our chocolate equally distributed it looks like Ooh, might as well get a little more over this corner let's get a little bit over here just want to look at it from all angles make sure that you've got all of your chocolate covered this is gonna be super tasty super super pretty in our Goodie basket. Let's toss this in the sink and then we're going to come in with our mixed nuts that we have. I saw somebody on YouTube earlier do this nut mixture. That's why I specifically look for this nut mixture. You can see all the different nuts that are in this. So we're going to just come in to our toffee. Make sure that you get a good coverage of nuts on this because that is one part of this toffee is that it really needs to have a lot of nuts that's one of the big things with this crack is that you want it to have a lot of nuts on it so this is going to probably cool the rest of the day you can um, leave it set out you can put it in your refrigerator I'm actually going to put it in the fridge but I'm going to wait probably about a half an hour before I do that. Because if I put this in my fridge now, um, it's gonna raise the temperature of everything in there and I don't want that. So we're gonna just make sure that we let this sit out for a little bit and then we will grab it, we'll throw it in our refrigerator. And then as soon as it is fully set up and nice and hard, then we will bring it out and we will get it all broke up into pieces. So it'll be nice and ready for our goodie baskets or goodie bo boxes that we're doing. So we'll let this chill and we'll come back and get it all broke up. Hi friends, good morning. So we have just been cruising right along with all of our goodies that we've been making. I almost forgot to come back and show you guys our Christmas crack that we finished. I got part of it broke up, but I decided to stop and let you guys see what this looks like after we got it set up in the fridge. So we're just gonna pull our foil off. This is part of the reason why you want to grease your foil and grease it really well so that we can pull this entire piece off in one big chunk just like that and then you just put a little pressure you just take your hand and break it and break it up into pieces these are going to be super beautiful in our goodie boxes that we are making for everybody they are going to be super excited to get these as you can see i have one of my goodie boxes right here we're going to tuck in a couple pieces of our christmas crack amongst all of the other goodies that we've got in here. And that is our, that is our goodies for our holiday boxes that we are giving out. They're getting quite full. We still have a couple things to put in there, but they are looking super good, super happy with them. This Christmas crack is amazing. I hope you guys will try it. Um, it is one of the best Christmas desserts treats that you can go give to your friends and family. So I want to thank you all so much for joining me in my kitchen this week as we did some holiday baking. I hope you'll join me again. If you found value in this in this video, please give it a like and a subscribe. If you love this recipe, please let, let me know in the comments because I want to hear what you guys think of this. If you've tried it before, if you're going to make it, whatever, let me know about that because I'm excited about it and I would love to start a conversation with you about this amazing little treat and I hope you guys all have a great holiday. Merry Christmas.